Maintaining valuable infrastructures is paramount with climate change being an imminent global threat. Environment Conservation and Climate Change Minister Simo Kilepa said this during the groundbreaking ceremony of the Alotau Provincial Climate Proofing Wharf on Monday, 26 September 2022. The 36.7 million Kina project is an initiative of the Climate Change and Development Authority through its Building Resilience to Climate Change project and is funded by the Asian Development Bank and the Australian Government through the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Minister Kilepa said the Marape Rosso government has prioritized infrastructure development as the number one agenda for PNG. With the theme of connecting PNG, we intend to bring socio-economic development to as many people and as many places across the country. We do not want to leave any place or any person behind. He said it is important to climate-proof critical infrastructures as it would serve two-thirds of the population of this maritime province who commute to and from the islands and atolls to buy store goods and sell their produce. Climate poses a serious challenge for PNG going into the future and it is important that we mainstream climate change adaptation into all development planning processes both at the national and provincial level to be able to ensure critical infrastructures are intact. The project will get underway next month and scheduled to take about nine months to complete. Deputy Governor for Millen Bay Province, Lelena Meteo, said the provincial government has also taken ownership of this project and provided its support of two million kina in funding and in technical support towards the temporary walls and retaining walls. We look forward to strengthening our partnership in addressing climate change through deliberate and agent intervention together. Carol Kiru Jr., TV1 News. Thanks for watching TV1 News. Please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest news.